I'm Chris. Welcome to Future Pigeons. So, I've got a confession to make. I've been holding out on you guys. Yep, I have been. Holding out though, not lying. Just holding out. Because I'm trying to save you and your wallets from your own bad decisions. And anyway, if you really cared enough, if you really cared, you could have found this on your own. So, let's see how many of you in the comments are really like, yeah, I knew about it. And then I get to point at you and say that you were holding out on everybody too. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I've been, been asked for the longest time about, uh, oh, well, Chris, what pistons can I use besides the Vitar for the D16? I'm like, mm, use the Vitars. <laughs> Why? Because the Vitars are proven, man. They can hold upwards of like 500 horsepower. And despite the fact that you look at... Okay, this is... Vitars, the Vitar pistons are one of those things where you look at them on paper and you're like, damn, that's not that great. And even me, myself, being a little bit hypocritical because I always advocate, you know, if you really want a, a good setup to kind of stay within the range of stock compression, like building, uh, building if you can, or building stock compression if you can with a, for a turbo setup. But with the Vitar pistons, I was just like, eh. At the time, I didn't know about the other option. At the time, I first built that Vitara setup. But I still don't, re you know, it's not like I'm like, oh, damn, well, I wish I would have known. Because I had, that Vitara engine was fucking great, dude. That, that build was, was fucking fantastic. It was it put down good power, spooled quick, all that bullshit. You know, it, it's, it's just a great engine. It's a great engine, and I'm going to do another one. I have a brand new set of Vitaras sitting in the shop that I've had for like two years because I haven't bought rods because I'm broke and because I don't have a D16 crank or a D16 block or any of that shit. Anyway, that's not the point. That's not important. Uh, I'm still holding out on you apparently because I haven't told you the answer yet. Uh, although, I'm pretty sure you've seen the answer by now in the uh, thumbnail. But who really pays attention to thumbnails anyway? Do you really pay attention to thumbnails? <laughs> anyway, uh, so the answer is uh, uh, nip and racing. Yay! I get to do a plug for Nippon Racing again. It's great. Uh, but yeah, Nippon Racing makes a, a piston. If you really smart guys were listening the other day uh, when I made the video about Rocket Motorsports, or yeah, I'm pretty sure I said it in the video. I know I commented on it. I'm pretty sure I said it in the video that um, that the their build that made the uh, 190 wheel horsepower had uh, P29 pistons on them. P29 pistons has come to rods. And I said, the only people I know that make P29 pistons that work for floating pistons, uh, for, or floating, are Nippon Racing. Uh, now, I'm not 100% sure on that. I didn't really check that hard. But uh, I'm fairly certain that that's the case. Because there's only, there's like, everybody does the Vitara piston. There's like a million different companies out there who create the, uh, the Vitara piston. As a matter of fact, Nippon Racing makes their own version of the uh, Vitara piston too. And in this case, uh, Pocket-wise, guys, I can't really say much about that because it is a little bit more pricey, uh, a bit more pricey than a lot of the competitors out there. And I use YCP um, Vitara pistons in there, and it worked just fine. Um, but Nip and Racing does have the leg up on everybody else because they're the only ones that make a, a high compression piston that fits on a fucking on a connecting rod on, on a forged connecting rod. It's for you guys that want something, insist on having something different. From the Vitara setup because you're scared of the low compression. If you're scared of the low compression, man, you just haven't gone out there and watched these videos of these Vitara builds on the track. Go fucking watch them, man. 12s, 11s. You know, I'm pretty sure there's some 10 in there. Vitara setup. You can, there's all kinds of fucking, there's, you know, I, I, I ranted on it in the turbo video I made about, you know, worrying about lag and all this shit you know it depends it's not just one thing that determines whether you're going to be slow or not it's a whole bunch of different things anyway so to get back to the nippon racing's uh p29 piston it's high compression it's high all right if you use a d16 a6 blocking head nobody's dealing with that you use you're getting 11 3 8 to 1 <clears throat> if you use a y7 uh block and uh y7 y8 blocking head you're looking at 12 8 9 to 1 I would say that the Z6 and the and the Y7 Y8 are the most common 
uh, engines to go with D-Series wise because it's just those are the most common VTEX out there for the D-Series. Um, so it, they don't list on here what the um, what the compression ratio would be for a Z6, but I guess I could do a little bit of rooting around and see where the Z6 would fall in here between the A6 and the Y708, and I guess I could get on and figure out, get an idea of what it was, or I guess if I want to, I could talk to Jesse and see if he can give me an answer. Maybe if I can, uh, maybe I can bug him. Uh, I don't think it's that important. Anyway, just to know that the fact that uh, you're looking at upwards of 1289, and I think that's probably the highest compression you're going to get out of those. So if you're looking to build a turbo setup with these pistons and you're scared of the low compression, just realize that you're going to have to use high compression. And when you're using high compression and boost, it's much more dangerous and volatile than using low compression and boost. Because then your tuner has to really be knowing what the fuck he's doing. Because yes, a turbo high compression can be done. I've talked about it and I think in certain cases it's good. But 12, 8, 9 to 1... That's pretty fucking high for boost. I don't mind 10.5, maybe even 11 for boost, but 12.89 to 1 is pretty fucking high. But at least now, when you guys ask me, I can have a, an option to point to, like NPR or uh, Nip and Racing makes uh, a, a piston option that's different from the Vitara. Mm -hmm. I hope your fucking tuner knows what he's doing because that's a lot of compression for, for boost. Anyway, um, so yeah, Nippon Racing makes a uh, different option for you, but you know I'm pretty sure if I read the description here, you're looking at these. This isn't really meant. They don't they don't mean for you to try and run this with um, with boost, but of course you can. All right, so uh, I think it's gonna wrap it up for this. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck! I almost made it through without dying. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's cool. Uh, ooh, chance for a shout-out real quick because this kind of, like, came to me. I, I guess I just – it's been a long time since anybody had asked me, and I kind of got guilted into doing this. Uh, plus, it's a chance to, you know, just give another shout-out for Nipper Racing. So that's cool. But uh, D-Tact, you commented about three hours ago, uh, looking for D16 with the Zara Pistons because of the price, but I don't want such low compression. Is there a different, uh, different rod that I can use to raise the compression? Ah, uh, see, shit, I read your fucking question wrong. But, um, I, yeah. It, I also, if you're watching this, dude, I, I recently did a, a video on, um, what is it, um, Speed Factory, uh, Speed Factory Racing's rods. They, uh, their rods bump compression a, a healthy bit. It's, it's not bad. So, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and leave that link here in the description, and you can go check that out. Uh, and now that's it, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching, and peace. See y'all next time.